Let's t can I take this for another Sure, one? sure, I'm yeah. Gonna, I'm gonna get your information. Yeah. Right now, yeah. <laughs> Nerd Reactor, roll out. So you've been in a lot of characters that are breaking stereotypes, and this one breaks that too. And I want to see more of that, so in the future, is you're going to push the envelope in the future, right? I think, you know, it's the thing that keeps me excited as an artist, as an actor, is when I find and discover characters that I somehow have never seen before, I'm like, oh, I want to I wanna do that. I want to just keep surprising myself, keep surprising the fans, and just stretch in all different ways. I hope everybody who watches it like really sees anybody who looks like them or doesn't as a multidimensional person. And I think that we are all really excited that we got to explore humor and heart in it and be like fully full humans. This was like my first acting role and I truly could not have done it without the support of the cast and it like meant everything that we had this friendship. Like we were a lot it was a first for a lot of us and you feel the group chemistry and it came from just like genuinely loving and wanting to support each other and make everyone shine on camera. So you're in the movie. You play the younger version of Ashley Park, right? I'm like in the classroom. I play 12-year-old Audrey, so yeah. I got to know the other girl who plays 12-year-old Lolo, and so that made it a lot easier because we had great chemistry, I hope, so yeah. I'm here with Chen from such awesome TV shows like Warrior. I'm not caught up yet, guilty. I did, right. I did season one, yep. Yep. Uh, but we're here for Joyride. Yes, we are. And Joyride, I think now's the time for just a lot of really good Asian just in cinema and on TVs. I don't know, like, how do you feel about that? Just 2023. <laughs> man, I'm here for it, man. I'm just like, love what they've done. Everyone, all of these girls uh, and guys, you know, for our people, our community, you know, and uh, they, they make us so proud. They make us so proud mm -hmm. just to be Asian, you oh, know. Yeah. And this one, just seeing the crude comedy and just, because no one ever relates that to Asian culture, you know what I'm saying? So so for me, I'm so excited about this. Being an Asian mom character, I don't know how you relate to that personally or not. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, well, I am not a mom, but I have an Asian mom. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I have dogs. I'm Not that that's the same as kids, but in a way, you know, there's a lot of corralling and a lot of nurturing, and they're like my kids, and so it's um, nice to tap into. And also, when you're working a lot with people who are so genuinely like Sherry and you know like I, I there's that genuine care it doesn't take a lot of trying. Baron so what was the conception for you being in this like were they like let's get let's get him in this somehow in this raunchy comedy and what were your thoughts like yeah raunchy whatever I'm down. Yeah I was just I'm up for it man this was a great this is a great movie uh, great talent great cast great director uh, when I read the script, I was just like, whoa, I don't think I can do this. And then I was like, what the hell, let me go for it, fuck it. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I got there, I was like, oh shit, I'm scared. I'm nervous. And Sherry, she was just like the best running mate, best teammate in helping, you know, just kind of walk me through it and like also just like be more of myself. Like, you know, like bring that, bring myself into the character and not just like try and be Baron Davis, a famous person, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So, so what was that like? Uh, what was the actual line that she told you? Like, all right, just uh, just tone it down or just, said, just get into it. <laughs> <laughs> so you're in this movie. Yes. You play kind of like a kind of like a romantic love interest or more of a like a sexual love interest. I don't know if I'm getting spoiler territory here. I think the two for one special. Yes. Yeah. Uh, less is less, more is more. So there's a line that the cast mentioned. I think you're part of this now because it's, it's the, the quote is the uh, two heads are better than one. <laughs> you heard, you heard that, right? That earlier today. Yeah. <laughs> uh, two heads are better than one, no pun intended. And honestly, you can never get enough head. So yes. yeah. you're you're like the the leader in the movie of the uh, the BTS army, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got to talk to you about BTS, like your experiences what was the first time you're like oh man i love this band <laughs> <laughs> you know what my friend group is like die hard bts fans they love k-pop and i understand why they're amazing dancers amazing singers and they're also cute yes, yes why not yes. right and um you know what funny story my my audition for this role they had us sing a song and bts was the band that i chose yes. and it it all just 
made sense, I think. <laughs> it worked out. Yeah, I've been listening to Butter just on repeat recently. Oh, yeah. The song. And, okay, funny, another funny story for me, uh, I was playing Fortnite and had a BTS emote for uh, Run BTS. I'm like, I like the song, so I'm like on it. So have you done any like a TikTok BTS dances? Oh, I wish I could get on the TikTok fad, but... I don't get it. <laughs> You'll get it. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie. Like I, I, I'm on it for five minutes and I'm brain dead. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go continue living my life. <laughs> I, I say for you, like as an actor, Rise of the Pink Lady musicals, TikTok is your. It should be your realm. It, be. <laughs> it really should be. You're not. You're not wrong. <laughs> so maybe I should hop on that. <laughs> How do you feel now, like this year? It's like the rise, like there's a lot, like everything everywhere, all at once, Joyride, and then you also have shows like Beef, etc. There's so many. Like, You know what, we've, we've been coming up a lot, and I'm actually falling behind. Like, I used to keep up with every new Asian film that was coming out. Like, you know, Crazy Rich Asians came out, I was there day one. But like, we've come out with so many, I'm like actually falling behind. So I need to catch up on Beef, and I need to catch up on Everywhere All at Once. Cause that's, that's, that's gotta be like amazing. And I've seen the good reviews on it, so I can't wait for like the second part of each movie. I think. Cra Crazy Rich started a lot of great stuff, and ever since then, like you know, there's there's also been other Asian themed shows, and we just hope they all they all make it. You know, even it's almost like if we're if we're counting like all the shows that are all the over the last 34, three four decades that there were no Asians. I feel like now it's it's more relevant because this this is what really life is. We got all POCs, man. So yeah, you know what I'm saying. So a lot of us. Yeah, it's not just. It's not just one Asian per every three shows. There should be one or two per show, that kind of stuff. I think everyone's story deserves to be told. Uh, once upon a time, Asian American cinema was limited to martial arts. It's no longer the case. We have come a long way since then. And uh, there's uh, uh, generation to generation. There's so many stories to be told. Um, and I'm glad to be a part of this. Uh, to be a part of this representation and even as a South Asian I got an opportunity to uh, uh, play a sexy guy as opposed to a character. Yeah, it's been really great to see the um, finally to be able to see like Asian Americans like actual human beings on screen not just the stereotype not just the doctor you know um, and and like we're fully formed people and we are American and so it's been really, um, I, I just love where we're at. And I think the more we can provide this and have opportunities for all ethnicities, you know, can, it just um, amplifies all of us. You know what? That's just like I said over there, man. Uh, um, just expressing yourself as an artist, expressing yourself as truly who you are and, and being the you know best actor that I can be. Um, and... The more we see us on screen, the more we normalize that, the more we bring uh, all the attention to our people and our rich culture. Yeah. And uh, yeah, expressing ourselves is representing. Yeah. And then we just let it, you know, let people see that. Yeah. yeah. I think it's a responsibility that I carry with me no matter where I go. I don't feel it like a heaviness. I feel it like a opportunity, an opportunity to break free and to shake things up and to liberate, reclaim, completely say whatever that is that you think I have to do, never mind that, let's go find something else and like bring newness to the forefront. So yeah, I find it to be a necessary challenge, but um, one that I'm really grateful that I get to help keep breaking through with all my peers.